George Finns is a lot for the pair of us. I remember as a, as a child, the only three races we watched from overseas was the Epsom Derby, the King George and the Ark. So it, it, me it meant a great deal to me and uh, we're lucky enough that we won it together with a horse that we share, obviously Swain. And, uh, uh, obviously, you can talk about it in 97. I was in the race, but you, you rode Spain that day, and uh, just, just tell me about it, how you went. Yeah, well, it was, um, it was exactly 20 years since I won my first one to Swain come along. So I had a long wait for the second win. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a very special race. At the time, I had a phone call from Michael Stout. He offered me Singspiel, and I thought, oh, that's great. But it was a tentative offer. Singspiel, this great international champion. We're in the Coronation Cup, the Japan Cup, the Canadian International. And then the um, I had a, another phone call saying, would I ride Swain? And I went, now, what's Frankie doing? I didn't know which one you were going to ride. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to throw it back to Sheikh Mohammed. I'll ride whichever one he wants me to ride. But he's one of four representing either Godolphin or Sheikh Mohammed in this race. The Royal Party will have enjoyed hugely. See. Shortly after that, I got the message to say that he wanted me to ride Swain. At the time, I was slightly disappointed because <laughs> I thought I was, I thought I wasn't on the better one. I remember the lineup was was Elicio, was Pusowski, was Swain, and I don't think Spiel in the race. Yes. And I remember he, we, the, the heaven, heavens open, and we, we had about two inches of rain in about the space of an hour. When it rained, I was happy because, I mean, when I look back at his form, and he, he'd run a mile and five and a mile and six in his maidens, and then one. Uh, group three over a mile and I think it was a mile and five. Um, so when it rained, I was delighted because I thought, well, I'm going to stay and we're going to go around the outside. So it's like a mile and six race. <laughs> a mile and five. It, it was, yeah. I rode six I was at the time, I was following you and I was going quite well. I thought I had you guys covered. And then uh, uh, you, you and Pulsoski going in, in a battle and just went away from me. And, and it looked like you, 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 know, you just. Uh, you know, he was very courageous and he always stayed in the field. My plan was just to keep myself clear and have an option and go when I felt ready and, uh, and I was confident the horse would stay, so it was kind of easy enough to ride. It's Swain holding Pilsudski as they race up towards the line. Swain and Pilsudski in a nail-biting finish. Swain is going to win it from the line. Swain is the winner, Pilsudski in second of this year. But then, you know, you, you proved that the following year he's gone back on, on good to firm ground. I mean, it was a m much smaller field than the, the year before, and it, on, on paper, it looked basically a two-horse race between me and the derby winner was High Rise. Well, High Rise there just arriving down at the start, looking very relaxed, and I'd have to say, Willie, I think one of the reasons maybe that, that he is now very much favorite, as opposed to your horse, Royal Anthem, is because he's taking it all in his stride. I was not aware at all of where uh, High Rise was. Obviously, he was, was tracking me in the just back. And I would return from home and, you know, I, I, as he proved it before, then he stayed really well. So I committed first. And come, when I came back in, they said, oh, you were clever. You tried to box Olivier in. But I'll be honest with you, I was not, not aware of that. I no. think Olivier got himself in a little bit of, in the pocket without me knowing. Mm. But um, in fairness, he, he, he was such a good horse. If anybody would have come to him, he would have pulled out a little bit more. And it's last year's winner, Swain, that strikes the front once again. Royal Anthem, high rise is quickening towards the near side. Can he get to Swain? Swain straining every sinew and holds on to win again. Wins the King George. There is not many horses who won two King George in a row. So uh, Very hard to do. And it was an amazing feat. When you look back at what he did, I mean, he won 10 from 20 races over his career, all at the very top level. It was Great an amazing horse.